I don't have lights. I don't have lights. Lights now, maybe the best you know. Lights are on. I am so scared. I'm never bragging in my life. <laughs> Welcome to a new vlog. It's Gisela Gisela Gisela. And if you're new here, you and I. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but if you're new here, ah, if you're new here, you're officially a gizzard. Why am I blanking out so much today? Oh my god. And if you're oh yeah, baby, you and I were besties. Okay. <laughs> it's such a slow day today. Like it's been raining all day. Today is Tuesday. It's raining since morning, and the light situation is getting worse and worse every day. My lights went off yesterday in the evening. Before I even got home, the lights were off. Tell me when my lights came back this morning. And after I came back in the morning, there was like, the winds were blowing and things. So, oh Charlie, they put the lights off too. Like, I have no even asked for protection. Wait guys, I don't, what is the essence behind putting the lights off when it's about to rain? Like, when I was a kid, my mommy told me that because the lighting can destroy your blood, blah, 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 blah. Girl, please, I've not asked anyone. Like, who? Ah. Anyway, guys, <laughs> don't you just love it when we start a vlog with... At home, don't you just love it? Because I do. <laughs> so this month's Fashion Nova items just came in, and I just can't wait to show you guys. <laughs> we have some swimwear here, and then we have like usual clothes because they have a swimwear campaign for this month. So as you can see, we have the first bag, and then we have the second bag here. So we have two big bags from fashionnova.com <laughs> so i think we should start with the first bag because i don't know who opened up the bag but i was open when i went for it can you imagine like can you imagine so the first item we have are shoes somebody in the comments said that every time i say shoe i mean slippers i'm sorry everything i wear on my feet is a shoe okay i'm very sorry but apart from heels i call everything a shoe so the first thing we have here it's actually a black heel because I have no black heels so I selected this black heel and it's so pretty this is what it looks like it's super super cute and it's in my size as well I hope it's as comfortable because I saw people saying it's comfortable in the reviews and then this is what I picked it's so cute guys it's so cute it's so cute it's so cute it's so cute in fact you, you know what I don't think you guys are ready for this haul so please I'm waiting I'm giving you guys about five seconds to type ready in the comments so i know you are ready for the haul before we continue i just want to know you guys are ready type ready in the comments <laughs> this is the second shoe i picked a lot of shoes this month because i just couldn't resist it like their shoes are so cute maybe i should do a cute unboxing on tiktok <gasps> guys these are my new favorite shoes <laughs> When I saw it, do you know how long I've had these shoes in my wish list? Look at the shoe. Look at that beauty. Look at this ethereal shoe. Oh my god, this is so... It's prettier in person. Look at the shoe. And then the little butterfly detail here. What? Are you kidding? 
Oh my god, I can't wait to wear. Look, this is one of the shoes that I can't wait to wear. Ah, it's so beautiful. Oh my god, this is like a purple shimmer thing. Like, is that thing that color that changes when light falls on it? Like, can you guys see that? Oh no, it's so cute. <gasps> wait, this is my. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> And on to the next, another shoe. Yes. Let's see what's in this box. <gasps> Guys. Guys. These shoes, yeah? They are fire. Fire. Look at the shoe. Look at the shoe. It has like the silver details here. And then... It has the same silver details here, like this, and then it has this. This rolls up your 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 legs, like it rolls up your legs like that. Stop it! <laughs> I don't have a silver shoe, okay? And these are gonna be abused. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm going to wearing this every single day and night. Like, don't even play. Now, guys, all of my shoes are in size 8.5, and then you can find them in the description box with their links. Yeah, with their links to shop. And then this is the next shoe. I think this is the last shoe. I don't think the swimwear came because I think I have to contact DHL because the swimwear they didn't come. I think I ordered two batch of items. This is the second batch. The swimwear obviously didn't come. And these are my last Oh my god, guys, these shoes are so cute. These shoes are giving fairy. They're giving like let me just show you. They are mules actually. It's a it's they are mules. I don't have mules. Like look at that. It's so pretty, guys. Imagine wearing this with a mini skirt. The way you for there. <laughs> look at this shoe. It's giving fairy. Okay. Fairy, <laughs> so pretty. Hello, is this Fairy Gisela? <laughs> I think these are all the shoes I picked. So I picked one, two, three, four shoes this month. Why? Because I can. I can't. I don't have any other explanation but because I can. Okay. Now let's go on to the next. This is the swimwear I was talking about. And so this is the first item. I picked this bag because it's so cute and I don't have a beach bag. So I'm like, you know what? One day I would want to go to the beach. In fact, this week I want to go to the poolside. Oh, look at the interior. It has like this floral details. No, it's so cute. No, this is pretty. This is beautiful. Guys, look at that. It's so beautiful. I want, I'll be going to the poolside this week, so... <laughs> next item is this swimwear it's a three piece it comes with the pants so it comes with like these shorts these shorts and then it comes with the bucket hat yeah <laughs> love it love it this is the bikini what's what the bikini looks like yeah and then the bikini there's the bikini bottom and then the bra itself so they have like these little little details here like some lines in it and i can't describe what fabric this is but it's not let me see if they've written it on it but it is um polyester okay well that's what they've written on it so the second this is a cover up and I fell in love with this immediately I saw it so I just had to grab it with the speed of light because it's so pretty like look at that I know I will wear this no it's so cute extremely cute I can't wait to wear this oh so beautiful and I got mine in a size S shook M because the S was finished. I'm assuming the S is for like extra small. And then the S shook M is like small, like let's say size 8, 10. 
because I am an 810. And then this other bikini. This bikini has like a beaded thing on the side. Ooh, this is nice. This this is way nicer than it looks on the sides. Oh no, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look at that. It's like it's not you know those popular viral silicone. Is it silicone? You guys know what I'm talking about. Those bikinis. I even wore I even wore mine in Dubai. It's not the same fabric. That one is I don't know how to explain it. This one's fabric looks like it's proper material, right? And then it has the beads here. And then it also has the beads here yeah oh no this is so nice way nicer than it is on the side and then this is the bra oh this is beautiful i think i'm going to wear this to the pool side no this is so cute and then the beads imagine wearing this with the cover up i just showed you guys it's going to eat down i love i love i love i love this is so beautiful this is also this is not a cover up this is like a beach dress type thing like let's say you're going to sandbox or you're going to a beach and you want like a beach you have a, a beach a, a beach date right and then you want something cute to wear i would definitely suggest or recommend this outfit because it looks so good on the sides and it comes in different colors but i chose the nudes it looks way better in person and i can't wait to try this on this was a size six um small yeah you guys said i don't try on my outfits anymore that's because i'm lazy as hell i said i'm relaxing this couch right now if i get up and go and change and come it will stress me out but trust that i'm gonna wear these items and you will see it yeah and then we have the last bikini oh this is so pretty so this bikini is a no it's not even a tie front you tie it at the back and this is what the front looks like the front has like a little hole yeah so when you wear it it's like this yep and then the model had my hairstyle <laughs> maybe i should wear this bikini then <laughs> and then this is what the pants the party looks like the bikini bottom looks like yeah, it has like two straps each on on each side it's like this in front and then the back also has like two so you tie it's like that you pull it and then you tie it so cute mine is in a small as well anywho yeah so that's all we have for the fashion Nova haul i'm so excited i can't wait to wear my bikinis outside like the bad looks that i was born to be yeah so I think I'll see you guys again. Right now, I'm going to. I have lights now. Oh, I need to show you guys the time. Me and Pam. <laughs> it's 2 40 p.m. And right now, I'm going to get some work done. And um, I think, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. And if something comes up, of course, you guys are my favorite. I'll definitely pick up. Oh, oh, guys. So we have a name for the camera right now, which I have. I, like all of you really try like guys i had the best recommendations okay i had the best of the best i have a bad memory so i can't really remember but i have gist cam i got gizzy i i got um 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 oh god a lot of them and i'm going to list all of them here i really really appreciate your recommendations but one stood out one stood out because you guys know i use a sony zv10 zve 10 camera and i should need my camera sonia regardless of the camera i use and i'm like girl girl you ate that you ate that because i use a sony so sonia is perfect for my camera so now we have sonia and we have subai who's sitting outside in the rain right now yeah so i'm going to pick up sonia when i have something else to do but just know that you and i we are locked in <laughs> Yes, guys, I'll see you guys later in the day. Okay, love you guys. Mwah. Hi, Gizzards. Good evening. I hope you guys can see me because it's quite late. <laughs> this is the time. It's 6.09 p.m. And I am um, I managed to get myself out of my bed <laughs> to go and get something to eat. So I'm craving Ellen. Do you remember like in the last two vlogs, Ellen came to my house to cook, blah, 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 da, da, da. And her food was so good and I, I kept saying that her food was so fire yeah I'm craving it and of course I can't ask it to come to my house to come and cook it for me so I am trying to make it myself 
I also wanted to say that the reason why I keep making like the same meals over and over again on my YouTube because I feel like you guys are tired of me. I don't know, but I feel like you guys see the same meals over and over again. That is because I am not the best chef in the world. Like I'm not your best cook. When you think about the best people you know, the, the best cooks you know, I'm not one of them. And also, I don't know how to explain it, but I fixate on things way too much like if I say I'm going to eat fries for the next couple of months trust that I will and then I will never complain because I have these meals like some kind of meals that I just highly fixate on in a specific duration and then I move on to the next meal and I fixate on that and then like the cycle just doesn't stop I keep doing the same thing over and over again eating the same food over and over again at some point in my life I was eating Indomie every day after work when I used to work in the insurance company like and not because okay partly because I was lazy I am lazy but also because I genuinely enjoyed it like that was my meal okay so <laughs> Today I'm craving Ellen's food so bad, so I'm going to try and remake that. And if I'm able to make it, then I'll add that to my list of meals that I can cook. Hello, <laughs> is the wife material talking to you guys? Please. <laughs> I'm going to Palace Mall because that's the closest mall to me. And then I'm trying to go and get potatoes because I don't have no potatoes in the house. And then my vegetables are also finished. I only have cabbage. I don't think I can use cabbage and lettuce yet. Like, I don't think I can use that for the meal. So I'm trying to go and get some bell peppers and then carrots. Yeah. 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 So yes, guys. Let's go and do some grocery shopping. I mean, it's not really grocery shopping, but you get the drill. <laughs> funniest thing or the worst thing or like the 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 most insensitive thing that has happened to me right now as i've gone to buy all of these groceries that are sitting here in my car like the groceries are sitting here i'm home now and there are no lights no lights i've gone to buy groceries to come and make steak and mashed potatoes and there are no lights to even cook to eat guys i am starting to hate this country like before it was jokes it was funny but it's no longer funny yesterday my lights were off before i got home and it came on this morning at 7 30 and it went back off at 8 and it came back on at 1 or 2 and it went back off at my, my neighbor is saying it went back off an hour ago 7 30 now so meaning it went off at around 6 30 like like 6 30. why ah who have we offended like who guys i'm so hungry but i can't eat because i don't have lights that's the same thing that happened to me yesterday i had to go and buy yam and pork from outside to come and eat because i couldn't cook yesterday too and today too i can't cook because i don't have lights I don't have lights. Why? The most annoying part is they are not even telling us the time that the, t the lights will go off. They are not even giving us information for us to prepare ahead of time. Because do you really think that if I knew that the lights were going off, I would drive my car and waste fuel, go to a shopping mall and waste money to buy groceries? Won't I have just made some meal and bread and egg to, to, to drink and sleep and eat and sleep? Ah! Guys. 
I'll see you, okay? I'll see when if the light comes on. I'll make the meal. If it doesn't, I'll just see you tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to make some cereal like, because I'm very hungry. And I've not eaten since I ate the cereal. So, I'll just, I'll just catch you guys, okay? Seriously not in anybody's mood this evening. Like, I'm so upset. I'm appalled. I'm mad. Like, I'm, I'm angry. Because why, like, why are we going through it like this in this country? Like, I just want to know. Maybe we've done something wrong or maybe we, we offended the government in some type of way because it does not make any, any way, like, ah, I always go and rant about the country I'm in when I'm vlogging. It's, no, I'm not going to do that this evening. I'm not going to do that this evening, no. And this is the time. So, what I'm going to do is... I can't like cook anymore because I told you guys I was crazy hungry and then I called my boyfriend to run to he has bought me food and the food is on the way here so I don't want to waste his money and I can't waste these things either even though I wanted to cook so I think we'll postpone this meal for like some other time because like so let me just show you guys the things I got and then we can move on okay I got this onion powder um I've never used this before. It's my first time. I'm going to try it and then tell you guys what I think about it. But there's this other one that I bought and I genuinely don't like. I got this from um, ShopRite and I don't like it at all. I don't know why, but it just doesn't give. I mean, look at the color even. It's red onion powder and this is white onion. I think I like the other one, but I, I mean, I've not tried it yet, so I can't really tell. The old brand I bought is called Monarch, and then the new one is called McCormick, yeah. But this is from Palace, and then what I showed you guys is from ShopRite. I also got some garlic because my garlic is finished, and then I got some ginger because my ginger is finished as well. And then I got the potatoes. So these are the potatoes I got. Is it potatoes or potatoes? I don't know, man. But you guys get it. You get it. <laughs> yeah, so these are like one, two, three, four, five, five pieces of potatoes. And I think this was 20 CDs or so. Yeah, I think I got it for 20 CDs. And then I also got some carrots. Yeah. Then the star of the show, I got the steak. Okay, so you guys. This steak is 100 CDs, which I think is very good. This is one, a pound of steak, and it's 100 CDs, which I think is very, 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 very good. And then I also bought some minced meat for 50 Ghana CDs. I actually know that they could give you half kilo at Palace Mall, but apparently they do, and then it's 50 CDs. I think I bought some dish soap because my soap is finished. So I had to get some. I don't think I'll be going grocery shopping anytime soon. So I just had to restock on the things that I finished at home. And I think, yeah, that's all I bought. That's all I bought. So I'm just going to pack everything and then wait for my food to come. I got some KFC because when I'm really hungry, KFC tastes so good as compared to when I'm not hungry and then I buy it. So when I'm hungry, I just like to go in for KFC. So yeah, I, I just got some KFC and then I'm waiting for them to deliver it. And I'm going to watch a new show. I finished watching Orange is the New Black. I finished it today. And then I've had some good recommendations from my Snapchat. I love you guys so, so much. I'm currently watching The Gentleman because I saw it recurring in the responses. So I'll give you guys my feedback on it tomorrow. So currently, I'm going to edit a video that I have to post tomorrow. Some AI thing that I have to post tomorrow. And then I'm going to edit start editing this vlog if i have the time to do so i'll do that wait for my food and yeah talk to you guys tomorrow okay yeah. grand rising my favorite people oh my god i don't know why i thought today was tuesday apparently it's wednesday like that's so crazy you're telling me that yesterday was rather tuesday hello what's going on why is the time running to anyway guys it's 12 56 p.m and today i just have a couple of errands to run so right now we are going to it's not even a couple of errands it's just three places we are going to we are on our way to Ida cafe hacho so guys i wanted to procrastinate so bad today like when i woke up i was just in bed feeling lazy and cute and all of that and then guess what happened i'm not even going to say but just guess what happened 
yeah 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 that's you're right that happened so that just motivated me to get out of my bed and leave because that space is too hot my house is too hot i know fit like you guys should know by now how no light it, it frustrates me so i'm just using the time i'm just using this time to run some errands that are pending i've been i've had to do this for the longest time so after we get food from vida cafe we are going to echo house for a check because the check has been there for over a month and i'm sure by now like it cast <laughs> i'm going to try my luck and then after that we will go to the mall with they we're going to get some things from mr bryce and lc wakiki i've not been there in a long time in a longest time and he and i are supposed to hang out today to so i think like we decided to go to the mall either ways also one last thing i know that you guys might be mad about the menu that we created and i'm not using but guys let's be real let's be honest and my menu no lights now the best menu no away i can't see the menu without lights guys that aside lights now the be you know or no so like where is it do you get it like do you understand my dilemma my boyfriend said it's not dilemma it's dilemma you know do you understand my dilemma or whatever i'm so sorry i have like the worst pronunciations i don't know why but i just struggle with a lot of pronunciations so i'm sorry guys please forgive me that's one of my flaws i'm so sorry so anyway yeah we are on our way to video cafe and i told you guys about their tuna salad hey their tuna sandwich i told you guys how it it, it made me crazy the last time when I went to get it from Mr. I told you guys how I just went so crazy over that. So that's what we're going to get right now. And maybe some hot chocolate because I'm hungry and I need energy to be able to drive for that check. Okay. So yes guys, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> guys, so as I was leaving the house, if I asked right now, a uh, dispatch rider called me. I told Ellen I wanted kinky. I've been craving kinky for some time. So she bought me kinky. <laughs> Ellen is so sweet. Actually, yeah, I tried buying the kinky myself, but the girl was not being responsive. So I had to go and tell Ellen because it was like Ellen's recommendation and then she ordered the food for me. So I'm waiting for the dispatch rider to bring the kinky right now. And then let me call Ellen Saf. One thing about Ellen Osabute, she's not going to pick up. <laughs> She will not pick up that call. The dispatch rider just brought the kinky. That's him outside. And this is the kinky. I think I'll show you guys. Oh god, it smells so good. It smells amazing. I think I'll show you guys when I get home. Like what the kinky entails and what it came with and that. <laughs> but right now we gotta go. We got to go because it's 1 12 pm and I feel like I've wasted so much of my day. So yes guys, let's go to Vida Cafe. from Vida Cafe guys I feel like Vida Cafe is slowly becoming one of my favorite places in Accra because I haven't I'm yet to visit a branch where the waiters are rude or like condescending or just typically not nice people every branch I've visited had the nicest people serving there I wonder the kind of training they give them there like it must be very because they are all so nice or maybe the people there are just nice anyway so i'm leaving video cafe now i'm going to pick up chidera to go to echo house with him because he said he wants to go with me <laughs> and you know what i totally forgot somebody in the comments recommended me trying the echo a hey, messy echo <laughs> somebody in the comments suggested and recommended their 
egg mayo sandwich so when i got there and i was ordering i saw it on the menu and then i remembered that oh this person cried said i should get this so <laughs> so i didn't get the tuna sandwich anymore i had the egg mayo sandwich and to be very honest yeah it's nice like it's not it's not something that i regret having at all but i prefer the tuna sandwich only because only because i like to taste some salt and pepper in my food i don't like bland meals i think that's why i was struggling to like mashed potatoes in before but i like i like the tuna sandwich as compared to the egg mayo not saying the egg mayo is not nice it's nice but i will rate it like well a seven out of ten and then the tuna sandwich a ten out of ten because it had it just because of that flavor factor like that pepper and salt factor and also the guy was like the guy who served me was like the next time i come i should try the egg and bacon sandwich so that's what i'll try next time and i also had a frappuccino i asked him for the most ordered um beverage then then he said the frappuccino and i had that which was also really good and i had like some whipped cream on top which was hey reva we should shame him papa we should shame him you think you are better than me? he has come to pass this side of the road to enter the front john anyway so right now we're on our way to chidi's house to pick him up and then yeah catch you guys when i get my bad bitch in my car okay <laughs> he wants to be a bad bitch so bad my passenger prince point a uh, 2.0 <laughs> I mean my man is the 1.0 he's the original passenger prince and Chidera is 2.0 <laughs> no Chidera is 1.0 my man is the upgrade he's 2.0 oh, guys you understand it let's just take it how it is why so I'm gonna catch y'all later when we get to Chidi's house okay Mwah. you guys I brought to Chidera that now I don't need them up to his house I feel my backup queen you ready <laughs> I don't know where I am I'm lost he said that he's coming so i should wait for him here because i've given him like the, the the landmarks to come to this place it's crazy yo. like on monday when i was going to work i didn't need the map to go to work and back home so i didn't need the map to come home and when i'm going to princess's place now i don't need the map like now i am a i am a, I'm a, I'm a very good navigator of like you know accra but how is it that i'm lost in chidere's area <laughs> This is why you don't have to brag, guys. Do not brag. It's a bad thing. A few moments later. Charlie. I'll never brag again in my life. <laughs> like, next time, I'll just tell you that. Please send me the location because this nonsense Oh, you almost that made it. This nonsense behavior that I've done. <laughs> I'm not fit. I'm not fit. I'm not fit. What Darling. the hell? At this point, today, Echo House will come and imagine you will come back today. Oh, yanko, yanko, yanko. There will be fatum up in mommy. I know the way. <laughs> if you know the way, they come and drive and let me sit here. This Look at this man, oh, he can't drive. Can't think of like you. I can drive you crazy. My friend. <laughs> Violence you cut for you, make sure say you put up for your vlog inside. Make them know say you are violent. Oh my God, Salel! Jojo, say hi to my gizzard. Yeah. Guys, look at my madam. Premier gizzard. Per. Hello guys. So I just left Echo House and it is 3:38 p.m. So right now I'm going to the mall to meet my man my man my man and then i'm also very thirsty I, I think i need to start carrying cash on me i never have cash in my car which is very worrying like it's so bad like never not even 50 pesos it's so crazy anyway i'm going right now and then i'll catch you guys when i get there i want to play some music and have some me time and that okay yeah Mwah. I know you want me Every day not only when you're lonely yeah. You see you think you know me But you don't even know nothing about me yeah. You see my thick thighs Lost when you look into my brown eyes You see my little ways to make you suicide You never know the devil in the disguise So why don't you stand up, baby? Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me Do you want me on top? So let me show you, show you, show you Why I don't need to back it up Hi 
people look at the time it's 5 30 and we just finished with our more rounds so i'm with bay hi bay bay of life hello why why don't you sound every time i like when i'm not using my camera you're very cheerful but you hate my gazettes oh i love them are you sure yeah okay he said he loves you guys Guys, so I wanted to show you this thing that I just bought from Vida Cafe. I feel like today Vida Cafe is really taking our money because I didn't buy this. <laughs> but this is the lemonade cooler in apple, in the apple flavor. How did you say it? Apple, apple flavored flavor. lemonade, yes. And then I wanted to try it. I wanted something to drink and then it has like a lot of ice and then it has like the apple in it. And like you can see, I asked them the, the most ordered lemonade and then they said that the apple one, if they're lying, me too, I'm lying. Because this is what they gave to me. And I tasted it there, right? And it was really like, it's nice when you sip it, but it has like a sour aftertaste, right? Mm -hmm. Or you didn't taste the sourness? Yeah, yeah. Like it's sweet. And when it settles down your throat, you taste the sourness on your tongue, like, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, do you think I, I will be getting this again? Or next no, time I should just try the other flavors? Yeah, so I think next time I'll just try the other flavors. But as I said, Vida Cafe is becoming one of my favorite places now. I love their customer service. <laughs> they are so nice and helpful and all of that. So right now I'm going home and I came. I actually came to escort my boyfriend to do some grocery shopping and then we we're supposed to go and buy some things but he doesn't want them anymore when we go home i'll show you what i got in his grocery shopping <laughs> okay <laughs> pro tip when it's time to shop for groceries call your boyfriend and ask him hi baby do you need anything in the house or just wait until he says oh i'm going grocery shopping and he say oh can i escort you man that's what i've been using for you also that's what you've been doing for me <laughs> <laughs> so you've been you have been to me you have been doing it to me. Yeah, I will yeah. not say I want to go grocery shopping again. Oh. Wow. So you've been playing smart with but me. But you always need a lot of things. So when you're going to buy it, just for you. And then I just Do you know what he does? Then I'm not realizing. <laughs> I, I'll say, oh, let's go grocery shopping. Then he'll follow me. Then he'll pick some one or two things. Then I'll say, oh, it's fine. I'll pay. I pick like 10 things. <laughs> <laughs> I see. This is how our relationship is going to be. Yeah. But but do you know the crazy thing? Sometimes he pays for the groceries. After he does his picking, then he'll pay for the groceries or I'll pay for the groceries. Wow. On those occasions, I don't actually pick a lot of things. When you pay, there, yeah, you don't pick a lot yeah. of things. But when I pay, you pick things. I see Cash more. I see how I see how I'll do my grocery shopping now from today. It's I'll go work. alone. I won't even tell you. It's one way. I will not even tell you. Uh, Babe, do you want to drink this? It has no sugar. No, I'm good, thanks. Oh, why are you good? Okay, I just, I just give it to you. Okay. You just said you just give it to someone and you're drinking it. <laughs> <Just listen>. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wish you guys could see him and his facial expressions and the things that he says. <laughs> Somebody came to say that it's my boyfriend a ghost. I'm trying so hard to hide him. And I was like, yeah, he is. I hope this helps. Okay, I'm a ghost. Though. Yeah, you were a ghost. Okay. Hey, can you imagine like one day pan, I'll be going over like I'll be watching my videos again and I realized that there was nobody in the car that I was talking to. There was nobody I was going grocery shopping with. It was all in my mind. Like those You've movies. got me now. <laughs> okay, people. So I'm going to my house. Yeah. Hi, boos. We're home now and it's... 7 12 i've been here for a while i just i was just like chilling because i wanted to relax for a bit before i pick up sonia so like <laughs> we are here now i wanted to show you guys the things that i finessed <laughs> so we have my parmalade showed you guys this as my breakfast in the last vlog that i love 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 it so so much it was on promo so i just grabbed two and then i also got some juice because i ain't got no juice in this house i just have coke and i'm tired of it so i bought two pineapple juices juice i don't know that that's not a plural i'm not sure and then i got some bread because the buns i got from the sweet guy is finished now and I can't text him and say I want more like <laughs> so I just got some and then this guys I don't know if I've ever mentioned it but whenever I have breakfast I have lipton and then I got some sugar because 
my sugar is finished i don't know the brand of sugar this is i actually don't check the brand i just buy the first one i see the most affordable one i just realized that i forgot to pick up some ketchup because i nearly finished mine yesterday i have to buy that later and then oh the food ellen got for me this is what i'm going to have for dinner yeah um so let me just show you guys this one I'm going to have for dinner or oh, for supper. This is what Ellen got me, by the way. And let me just show you guys what we got. Ooh, this is a lot. This is the accoutrement. So it has some eggs, it has some shrimps, it has fish. She, is that turkey? I think turkey, yeah. Turkey and then all the peppers here. So it comes with like red pepper. And then we have the green pepper, and then we have shito here. Yeah, but the only thing is, I don't take um, shrimps. I don't eat shrimps. I don't like the way shrimps taste, so I'm going to have to remove that from the plate. Yeah, and then heat my kinky. Let me see the number of balls this came with. Princess showed me how to heat kinky, so. I think I'm going to have to heat this because I want it to be soft. Oh, it's actually still hot though. Yeah, it's still hot. I think I can eat it. Yeah, it's still hot. So these are two balls. I'm sure I can only eat one and then save the rest for maybe tomorrow. I don't know. When we in SHS, people used to mash this type of kinky with milk. Guys, let's be honest. Was it the hunger or you genuinely enjoyed this? I know that you can mash fancy kinky with sugar and milk. But I didn't know you can mash kinky until I reached SJS and then I was in SJS and then I saw people do that. Please tell me it was the hunger. Okay, please just tell me it was the hunger in school. Don't tell me you guys actually mash kinky with pepper, with sugar and milk. And some people even add granite. Please. I'm going to have to dish this out on my plate. And then have my dinner okay <laughs> Guess what? I don't have lights, and it is uh, Thursday, and then it's 1 p.m. But look what just came in! Whoosh! The Fashion Nova outfits came. The other bag. Let me reduce this. You guys are too way too bright. Yeah, the other bag just came. This is it. I can't wait to open it. I think we should do a haul this evening. Yeah. I wanted to go to Princess's place, but I have a lot to do, like regarding work. I also have my laptop here, and then I'm just stationed there. I didn't open my windows because it's extremely hot, Ooh, so hot. So I'm going to just get some work done, and if I can go to Princess's place, I'll go there. And if not, then I don't know. I just have to wait for the lights to come back on. <sighs> yeah, I'm so excited excited i'm so I'm, I'm so excited about these things i'll just see you guys later okay yeah Mwah. hello my gizzards and welcome back to my kitchen oh my god i just realized i left my phone because i definitely need my phone for the recipe so this is the time 8 25 p.m the lights came on around 5 40 imagine like i've been waiting to make this meal and I forgot to take the meat out of the freezer. So I just defrosted it. I went on Google checking for, on TikTok checking for easy ways to defrost meat. And I realized they've just been using the Ghanaian method. Putting the meat in a bowl and putting cold water on it. I thought there would be an easier way. Like, <sighs> anyway, anyway, let's just get to cooking. So we are going to make 
mashed potatoes and steak for the very first time <laughs> anyway so i have my steak here what we bought the last time carrots and then i have the green pepper and then i have the onions my ginger powder onion powder garlic powder garlic itself as well some salt my potatoes right here the remy spices milk here my peanut butter i have my butter here and i don't have heavy cream none of that okay so <laughs> As I saw some recipes online and I'm going to be using Ellis recipe what I remember from Ellis recipe and some recipes I have online so yes guys let's get to cooking okay yeah review about this meal that I have made this is the food I know it doesn't look as good as Ellen's but I mean I've tried so first the mashed potatoes yeah I like it but it's lumpy and I should have reduced the salt just a teeny weeny bit but I'm trying it with the veggies now I like it as I said it's a little lumpy and because I put the oil and then the butter in it I have too much oil here let me just try and see if I can scoop some out onto the steak 
I have one right here. This is it. Let's try this thing. Good, I beg. Okay, it's hard. But I cooked it for a while. Perfectly seasoned. It's just hard. It's just a hard, it's just hard, but it's already seasoned. Please, I am used to the traditional way of steaming meat before you fry it, like how our parents do it, or me. That's how my mommy has been doing. She steams it first before she fries it. So, frying this off the from the fridge was hectic for me. Trust me. So, if you guys have any hack or the number of minutes I should have kept it on the fire for, but, uh, please do let me know. So I do it like that next time. But to be fair, I love it. I might have to go to the dentist tomorrow. But it's worth it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to finish my food. I'm watching Fool Me Once. I'll tell you guys what I think about it tomorrow. But for now, I'm hungry and I'm not eating properly today. So, see you guys tomorrow. Mom. Hello, people. Guys, I am so sick like i'm not even like can you hear from my voice i have a terrible cold that i got yesterday i don't even know where this cold came from now i got it to the, uh, the day before yesterday but yesterday wasn't that serious so i like i barely felt it but today last night in fact hey like i took some pro cold and it made me so drowsy like i slept way early earlier than i, I was supposed to anyway so today is friday yay friday and it's 1 30 p.m so currently i'm on my way to pick up um london to meet ellen we're going to lennox apartments because i have to take some photos for fashion nova for their swimwear line i'm wearing it under my shirt and that's like why i'm out today sun's out so i'm out <laughs> that's my caption by the way <laughs> yeah <laughs> this cold is not going to stop me from doing what i have to do today like i've been sneezing like i've been sneezing so bad and then my, i have like an itchy throat to a sore throat so i don't know like <laughs> nah last night was terrible for me after the food it was so crazy for me so i'm going to meet i'm going to pick a landing up at okonglo and i'll catch you guys when when my boy is in my car okay yeah Okay, people, I'm waiting for London now at Okonglo. I didn't know my makeup was this much because I said, let me do something light. Oh, is it the light? I said, let me do something light. And I didn't even put too much product on my face. And the reflection here is making it worse. Like, I don't even know where the... Okay, it's coming from here. Let me put my phone. Uh-huh. Because it was making me look some way. I said, let me do some small beats, light beats, soft, soft beats. Nah, look at what I've done to my face. He said he's two minutes away, so I'm waiting for him to get here and then we can go. Let me pack some things in the back. Two thousand years later. Guys, I'm not sure if London was swimming to this place. But he's still not here! He said he's here now, so I'm waiting for him to come and sit down. Let's see how long it will take for him to get here. It's 2 10 pm. Now we wait. We're going to East Paris. When you walk on top bubble tea, London. I mean, I mean, for... Guys, look at the time. This Negro is getting here. <laughs> I was, just one minute. How is God a Negro? You've gone to buy. He has gone to buy bubble tea. Just say like, you think your bubble tea is better than me. Guys. Really? I can explain. Really? London, I've been waiting here for years. So Let's go before Let's the go. traffic light comes on. Ellen, for you. Ellen. Never again. Never again. We here. Guys. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, we just got a seat. We placed the seat here. So I'm now going to change so we can take. I'm shy. There are so many people here today. I didn't expect them to be here, but they are here. So I have to change and take the photos like that. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to change. Staying in my land. You know what? I finally figured it out. 
You know what love you was like? Yeah, what you love me was like fire, 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 fire. A time that you go here. Certified late, come on. I don't even know if we will show 342. Something I said 12 to 1. 12 to 1. When you want to share, you show your waist. <laughs> <laughs> guys so we are done and it's 4 59 p.m almost 5 p.m and we're going to find something to eat because i haven't eaten they haven't eaten and they, there they are arguing like the tom and jerry that they are so <laughs> we're about to leave this place and keep you guys up updated i got very nice photos i can't wait to post them yeah p.m. and the lights are on I am so scared because why are the lights on at this time it means this evening there will be a total blackout I'm going to be sleeping in the hotness I'm going to be sleeping in the dark I'm going to be sleeping sweating drenched in sweat <sighs> you see you please take the lights now please take the lights now please Take the lights now. I need the lights to be off this afternoon so in the evening I can bask in my AC. I can't sweat again like I did last night. The lights went off at 1 a.m. That was my cue to go to bed. Because why am I still up? Anyway, it's Saturday. I've already shown you guys the time. I am here today because we are going to do this unboxing and a haul no this is a haul we are going to do a haul for the last batch of fashion over items that came in okay so you guys let me just sit down here so most of my sore throat i have to be drinking water regularly even though water is not my vibe yesterday was a vibe yesterday was so fun i mean like me ellen and landon after we left the blue side we went to straight to eat i had their noodles and then i had their quesadilla and then ellen had their english breakfast and landon also had their um noodles now i don't really have a favorite at district but every time i've been there like this is my or well, fifth or something time eating there but the first few times i went there it was to get steak with my boyfriend and the last time i went there with my friends they recommended the the noodles i got the noodles and i got the same thing yesterday because it wasn't bad like it was actually good and i, I couldn't even eat it i bought it here but guys whenever you go to district please try the quesadilla like take it from me and try the quesadilla it's so bomb the last time duke was the one who ordered it and i tried one and now i'm stuck that's why i ordered it again yesterday and i've lost a nail yeah my nail is just gone guys let's just see what we have in this bag from fashion nova these are the things for this month okay yeah now we're going to start from my favorite of the favorite now this black dress i saw it quite late but i don't know it's giving me mature vibes no it's giving me like um classy elegant woman going for dinner and she doesn't want to do too much but she knows she looks good like that's the vibe is giving me oh no i love uh, and it looks way better in person i thought the shimmer was going to be at just one place so i thought the back didn't have any shimmer but anyway 
it has like the, the bling in the front and the bling in the back in it <laughs> it's a bling thing <laughs> i know that was so like that was so uncomfortable but yeah this is how the dress look this is what the dress looks like and it's actually short i know it will look so bomb with the heels that let me show you guys it will eat so bad with these shoes because the top is already doing too much so yeah now i can't wait to wear this outfit i want to wear it to dinner so bad and i'm going to do that okay we have is these this skirt it's a skater skirt i don't know it's skater skirt season for me because <laughs> the last in the last um haul i picked the skater skirt and now i've picked the blue one this one yep 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 i feel like wearing this with a simple white tank top will even go so crazy and it's so it's like it's super cute and very very short this is a belt okay it's a belt guys uh, so i have a wedding coming up this week yeah this coming week it's one of my boyfriend's friends and he's getting married and their theme is blue and gold so i went on the site and i picked an aqua dress now this dress is simply my favorite this is one of the reasons why i couldn't wait to get this pack of items because are you kidding are you are you are you kidding guys guys look at the the details it has like the beads here the pearls i mean it has the pearls here and then it's a bandage dress so it's not light and then it's like this it's a bare back so even if it's too long you can still tie it no and then it has like the zipper in the back guys you wear going to wear this outfit <laughs> i'm not going for the wedding i'm attending the dinner party so i'll wear this to the, the mm -hmm. wedding party yeah it's not even dinner it's like lunch they're having it between 12 to 3 p.m so i'll wear that to the lunch the wedding party let me just call it the wedding party yeah i'll wear that to the wedding part hey <laughs> now the reason why i picked this bag was because of the shoes i was going so crazy about on um is it tuesday look at this bag guys let me show you guys the shoes look at this bag now imagine imagine me being you free, trusting you totally. <laughs> Guys, imagine wearing these shoes with this bag. Okay, imagine. Just imagine. This is the reason why I picked this bag. Like, the bag is so cute and it's so small and it's so chic. And the shoes don't even play. The bag comes with a strap. Yeah, so if you want to wear it as a crossbody bag, or if you want to hold it like this, I am going to be holding it like this. You can also wear it like that. Her. This, what is this? So this dress, when I was picking my first batch of items, I picked it too and I dropped it. Because it's giving birthday vibes. It's extra, right? Because if you're going to wear this dress, baby, look at that. So it's a bodysuit, right? I saw in the comments that it's a bodysuit. So you just wear it like this and then you wear the skirt on it it's together the skirt is sewn together with the dress at the top i mean so this is what it looks like oh my god i can't wait to wear this i don't know where i'm going to wear this to i feel like somebody should have a birthday dinner and invite me okay please in invite me to your birthday dinners because this outfit will eat so bad at a birthday dinner with these shoes so bad with these shoes Guys, please invite me to your birthday dinner, okay? I have to wear this outfit out to somebody's birthday dinner else. Something will happen to me. The dress is so cute. Like, it's so beautiful. These are one of the things that I'm saving for the future. Like, it's one of those clothes that you pick out. You pick just because, like, you are waiting for what will happen in the future so you can actually show people that you too can dress. You are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I picked another bag. Princess is always laughing at me that I have one white bag. So, <laughs> I picked another white bag. Princess, now I have two white bags. <laughs> so, I picked this very cute bag. It's tiny. I think this is enough to hold my dignity and my pride and my ego. You no, know, this is so beautiful. And it has that textured skin. It has the, the is it um, crocodile? Is it crocodile or tortoise? I don't know but it has that textured skin 
like you guys can see what the skin looks like and then it has like this gold opening here and then it has like this i think this is the strap that you can pull from inside yep you can pull the strap from inside the bag it's very long inside it it's like this it's a gold strap by the way this is the strap that comes with the bag love 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 and it's so tiny i love it i love i love i'm beginning to like small bags for like casual outings and dates i don't know it just gives the next item we have here is the top so you guys when i got this top in the last vlog i mistakenly threw it away can you imagine i mistakenly tagged it with like the other fashion over bags and then i threw it away so i just had to get on it again because the nights that and you know when i found out when I was going out and I wanted to wear it, guys, I cried because why couldn't I find my top? So I got it again. Already I got this in black, so I got it again. This time I'm not going to throw it out at all. Go for it. And then I got this ranch outfit. So this outfit was picked by Princess, but she thinks it's so cute. And this is what it looks like. It's like a top, a tie front, um, a tie, a tie neck top. Oh, this is so pretty. No, this looks way better than it looks on the side. So it, you tie it at your back and then you wear these pants. And the pants are made to fit your waist. But the lower part is kind of baggy. No, this eats so bad. Actually, like personally, I don't like um, textured. I mean, I don't like patterns in my outfit. So if you guys have realized or noticed, most of my outfits are plain. Like if it's black, it's plain black. If it's blue, it's plain blue because I don't like patterns in my outfit. But this, I can't wait to wear it. It eats down. Imagine wearing this to brunch. Oh my god. <laughs> and then we have these. Oh, this denim. Oh my god. I got a denim romper. Nowadays, when I'm going out, like on a casual something like with my friends, I usually don't know what to wear. So I got this denim romper for my casual everyday outfits. Like if I want to go eat food with my friends, if I want to go in. This is my friends, we are even going on a road trip. What will I wear? Like, I don't like wearing jeans and top. No. So I got this romper for that. It's so simple and casual and everyday. Like, it's such an everyday wear. I love it so, so much. Now, this top is very, very cute. I saw it and I was like, I need that. It has, like, the long sleeve here like the short sleeve here and then it has like the very tiny sleeve on top and i thought i was going to eat so bad with the skirt i showed you guys and then this is what it looks like it's super cute no this is so beautiful but it's light i feel like this is one of those things that if you don't wear a bra under it you have to wear nipple stickers and then it has like the silver um thing here to just pull the strap yeah these jeans i don't have a normal fitting jeans like all my jeans are baggy for some reason all my jeans are like all my good jeans are baggy i wanted one good jeans that i can wear with a lot of tops and it doesn't have to be baggy or tatted or none of that so i picked out these jeans i hope it fits because if it does it means i have to pick another one and i love the color so they give you the option they, they in fact they provided three different options for these jeans i mean the color three different color options for these jeans but i went with this light blue color because i love this denim color for an everyday wear or like you know something i'm going to be wearing most of the time i picked this color and then this is what it looks like it's just normal everyday blue jeans yeah with like a normal i don't like pencil jeans either so i picked the straight leg jeans yeah and then this is what it looks like so I'm going to try this on in my bedroom to see how it fits because if it doesn't fit I'm just going to cry like I need one good jeans baby I do and yeah that's all we have in today's haul and I'm going to carefully pack these things so that I don't lose them like I lost my top the last time because it's still hurting my hat that that top is probably frolicking in some zoom lion Oh my god no i don't even want to think about it guys anyway so that's all for today's haul and that's all for this vlog i'm so happy i was able to vlog this week i missed the the tribulations and the trials in ghana anyway 
thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you are you are still enjoying us you're watching to this part and please don't forget to like and subscribe the likes are really important to me okay somebody was like somebody on my snapchat asked me why you have to watch my ads now you watch the ads that's the only way youtubers make money um the views the likes and most importantly the ads so if you skip the ads the, your favorite youtuber is not making anything so you have to watch the ads baby okay if you love me watch my ads my love mm -hmm. yeah i'll see you guys in next week's vlog i love you guys so so much i hope you have an amazing week and i love you guys from the bottom of my heart let's have a good week guys i'll see you guys next week sunday Mwah.